Yo, we in the building. Yo, shout out to everybody here in the building. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us. It's your boy Graphic Raider. Got my little brother in the building. You already know. What's good? Hammer is definitely in the building, man. Uh, for those of you guys who are not subscribed to both channels, we are connected, whether you're watching over there on Hammer's channel or on mine. Make sure you hit that sub button on both channels, man. We definitely appreciate all the love and all the support. I know Hammer's on his way to 7K. I'm on my way to 19 right now. We need all the help we can get you guys. So salute to everybody here in the building. Also, make sure you wipe them feet, break them thumbs, meaning hit them thumbs up. You already know what it is, man. So my little bro hit me up this week and said, you know what, man? We got to do this show that we did last year, right? Where we do a complete mock draft in round one. Not just Raiders. Every single team in round one. So that's what we are going to do tonight. And before we get there, you guys, we have to say this. Some breaking news happened for us today. We will be in Las Vegas for the draft, covering the draft all three days from Barcode Burgers. Shout out to all of our people at the Blackout Division, man, my brother Raider Cody, um, everybody, man, DJ Mike, man, all of our guys, Woodson Whiskey. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Woodson Whiskey. Got my new helmet in the mail today. Salute to everybody, man. It's going to be rocking with us over there. Um, the flyer is up, you guys, on Hammers. Let me bring it up real quick as well. well it's, it's on the screen right now, too, if you guys can see it. If I need to enlarge it for you, I could do yeah, that. Yeah, enlarge it real quick so everybody can see where it is. Hold up. There we go. Complete draft coverage, you guys, from yours truly. Shield Moore will be in the building, you guys. We will be live from Las Vegas, Nevada. For those who don't see, Blackout Draft Party, PlanetRaiders.com, Mount Shield Moore. Complete draft coverage from us. So um, make sure you guys pull up. It will be sponsored by Happy Dad, Woodson Whiskey, Residency, Planet Raiders, Maverick, um, helicopters and Mikey Vision, man. So make sure you guys pull up to Las Vegas to come rock with us. We are about to have a ball. Waster will be out there. Hammer will be out there. I will be out there. I believe Andy's trying to make his way out there as well. But if he does not make it, he will be live on the stream with us from Oakland. So stay tuned for that. Shout out to my brother Cody in the building, man. Blackout Division. Yes. Yes. And we will be giving away some tickets here shortly, you guys. Um, stay tuned for that. We will be dropping um, some news shortly. Um, BlackoutDivision.com. We're going to be dropping. As a matter of fact, you guys, go to BlackoutDivision.com right now. Put your emails in, you guys. We're going to be giving away some free tickets to the home opener. So stay tuned for that. Before we get into this draft, man, shout out to Black Sales as well. Salute to my bros. Salute chat. Wipe them feet. Hope to see everyone in Vegas, man. Salute to Black Sales. We'll see you out there, brother. Um, also, Big Mike, one of our number one riders over at Planet Raiders, will be in the building. Our brother Halo is driving out. B will be there. Bro, we're about to be deep, man. The whole squad is going to be together. Oh, and guess who else is going to be there, Hammer? Who? TQ just hit me right now and said uh, he's going to be in the building rocking with us. So TQ is going to come over there. 
and go live with us for a little bit. Come have some drinks and rock out with us, man. And don't be shocked, you guys, if you see a few players in the building where we may may get on the uh, live stream with us and, and do a few interviews and all that good stuff. Once again, shout out to Barco Burgers, man. My boy Barco Cody over there, man. Always looking out for the team. Blackout division. Blackout, blackout, blackout. Shield Moore is taking over Vegas once again, you guys. Stay tuned for that. He is now, upon us. The Raider Equinox is upon us. He's in the building, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado. Yes, sir. Our brother Wasted. Wasted is in the building, y'all. Talent. I know he's over there writing this article right now. Um, I don't want to drop what it's about, but just know uh, there's a new article coming up on PlanetRaiders.com, you guys. And we have a fellow content creator that's going to be covering that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. That boy Wasted's pen has been deadly lately. He's been over there writing up some shit, man. So shout out to our brother Wasted Talent. Let me see. Shout out to Cloud9. Shout out to the Shield family. Always working hard for the nation, man. Appreciate you. That's all we know how to do. That's all we know how to do. Primo said, I put that email in. Go put the email in. Blackoutdivision.com, you guys. Put your email in, and you can be put in to get a chance to uh, win two tickets to the home opener, man. And the tour bus, I mean the tour bus, the party bus from Barcode, the whole experience on us. So stay tuned for more developments. But until then, put your emails in. All right, you guys. Today, we are... Doing a mock draft, full mock draft, breaking down every pick in the first round. So without further ado, I'm going to share this screen here. You know what? Let's let's get a few comments in before we really get to it. We're only a couple minutes in. Shout out to LV, man, our brother. We hope to see you out there. We need our security in the building, man. So LV Maximus, pull up to the barcode. Burgers, we will be live from Thursday to Saturday, all three days. Covering the draft, man. So pull up, LV. And we got to get a cigar, my brother. We have to get a cigar. Shout out to Marcus. I'll be there at the barcode for the draft. My brother can't wait to see you, King. Can't wait to see you. The party bust the barcode. Damn. Tell you, bro. We be lit out there, brother. <laughs> Shit different. <laughs> shout out to Anthony. Caught the live the other day, and that stuff was comedy, bro. Man, shout out to Stu, man. Hey, everybody doesn't agree with Stu, but we love our brother for who he is. And that shit was hilarious to me, man. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Stu is uncancelable. That's not a word, but he's uncancelable because he doesn't give a shit. And I love that, man. Shout out to Ant. Uh, shout out to our brother, Sean Johnson, man, as well. Um, super Omni, best fan base, secure the nation. Shout out to my dog. All right, let me share this real quick, you guys. And we're going to get to the shits. We're going to get to the shits. Me and Hammer are going to talk about pretty much, we're, we're going to agree on each pick and where they go. OK, so this isn't a situation where it's like, OK, Graf picks uh, the Cardinals pick, Hammer picks the next one. No, we're going to come to an agreement, kind of like the war room style of where these guys go. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do. Some teams, we're going to have to break their rosters down a little bit more. Some guys are going to be easy peasy. We already know where this dude's going. This dude's going. But sometimes we're going to have to pull up a roster, take a look at where they are before we actually make some of these picks. So let's get to it, man. And shout out to Omar. He says, congrats on the 6K. That is definitely a you. Dope, Thank you. Dope achievement, man. For real, for real, bro. Like, it took me forever to get to 6K. So I, I, I salute you, bro. Real talk. Let me get this rocking. Wipe them feet, y'all, while we wait. All right, let me get this shit going. Damn, I got so many things up. Planet Raiders, this, that, blackout division. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, we good? We good. All right, we are good. So let me take this down real quick. All right. First round pick. The first round. Uh, first round. Only one round, you guys. Only one round today. That's all we're doing. All right. Let me do. Let's draft. Boom. Carol. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? I didn't like that shit. I didn't like that shit. What just happened? I don't know. What'd you do? Hold on. Let me stop the screen. Let me bring this back up. Mock draft. Appreciate you, LV. Can't wait to see you in a few weeks, brother. Okay, I, I, I didn't select all. That's what happened. Van City, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Van uh, City, too, my dog. All right, here we go. Boom. My apologies, Nation. My apologies. Shout out to everybody here in the building. All right, here we go. Boom. We good? Yeah, man. All right, let's draft. All right, right now... Everyone is on the board. Carolina is here. They traded up 
they gave up the farm uh, with Chicago, sent them a slew of draft picks to go up to number one. So we all know that this is going to be a quarterback. Just trying to see who is going to be the guy off the board here. I'm going to say C.J. Stroud, little bro. Where, where are you going right here? I'm going C.J. Stroud. Um, look, Carolina did a something similar to what we saw from the Niners a couple of years ago, giving up a plethora of things to get a top pick, a top five, overall the number one draft pick. Yeah. Um, look, I've said this time and time again when it comes to the first round, especially for quarterbacks, it is truly a land of uncertainty, yep. especially if it's a quarterback that – you just want to throw to the wolves right away. But I do think Carolina goes CJ Stroud here and we'll see what he's made of. I do believe they go Stroud as well. Stroud out of Ohio State is off the board. Carolina needs a quarterback. I know they drafted one last season in the middle rounds, but they need more of a short thing. And I think that CJ Stroud is one of, the, if not one of, but if not the most NFL ready quarterback going into this NFL draft. Now, this is where it can get tricky right here. Hammer. So we know that DeMarco Ryans is now the Houston Texans head coach, right? They have Davis Wales um, out of Stanford. I, look, I don't think he's the guy that's going to be the guy to take him to the next level, um, but he's a defensive minded guy, right? Yeah. Will Anderson is on the board. Jalen Carter is on the board. Is there any way in the world that Houston passes up here on Bryce Young? Bryce Young was in the building with our Raiders, I believe today. Yes. Um, he's been making his rounds, top 30 visits. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about him potentially dropping because of the measurables and all that good shit. What happens right here at two in your eyes? Look, D'Amico Ryan said it himself not so long ago. Bryce Young has done it all, and he's not concerned with his size. They're going to go quarterback. They need a quarterback. They're going to take Bryce Young with the second overall pick. So the yep. second overall pick in the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select quarterback Bryce Young out of Bama. I agree. Now, right here, this is going to be a little fun right here because this team has Kyler Murray, and, and they got him for many years. He won't be ready for the opening of the season in 2023. He tore his ACL, I believe, right, last yeah. season. Um, but they already have their guy. They have their guy. They have their new head coach. They're kind of rebuilding over there in Arizona. Um, they're going on defense. And, you know, J.J. Watt just retired. They need a defensive tackle. Um they can also use a, use an edge rusher as well. I mean, I'm looking at, at this situation. It's either Jalen Carter or Will Anderson Jr. Um, I think that this is – okay. I'm not even going to say it. Who do you got Arizona grabbing right here? Will Anderson. For every reason you just said, and that's what I was going to touch on, J.J. Watt's gone. They need another edge rusher. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be Will Anderson. I absolutely believe it's going to be Will Anderson with the number three. And it potentially – it's a good chance – Apparently, the Colts are interested as well um, in getting that number three overall. We might see a flip-flop either way. Arizona's going to take Will Anderson. Okay. I, I agree. Um, I think that uh, if you watch Will Anderson, his first step is crazy, man. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, there, there is, you know, I don't want to say – I don't take any NFL comp really too serious. you got to really pass the eye test and – Watch it. You know, a lot of people say he's like the next Khalil Mack. I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on him. I do believe, you know, I'm not that huge of a Will Anderson guy because I've always was just big on Jalen Carter in this draft. But I do believe that Arizona, you know, they, they take the more safer route here. They go get their edge rush for the future and they bring in Will Anderson Jr. out of Alabama. Where's the sound at, bro? You go ding, 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 but a ding, ding. There we go. Will Anderson Jr. to the Arizona Cardinals at three. Arizona gets their edge rusher of the future. And they just hired a defensive uh, a defensive minded head coach as well out of Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Or was it the D coordinator or was the O? Or was the no, o? I think it was the D coordinator. Okay. Well, one of them went to Indianapolis. One of them went to Arizona. So there you have it. So there we go. CJ Stroud is off the board of Carolina, you guys. Bryce Young is going to the Texans. He is the future quarterback for them. Will Anderson Jr. out of Alabama is going to be a star at the next level. He will be the edge rusher of the future for Arizona. Now, this is where it gets a little different right here. Indianapolis can go all kinds of different ways right here. There's talks of them going all in maybe for Lamar Jackson. Lamar has already stated to Baltimore he does not want to go back there. 
I can definitely see Indianapolis. This is not a Matt, Matty Ice, Carson Wentz kind of move. Lamar Jackson is a former MVP. You know what I mean? He, he's, he's been there and done it. He's still young. He's in his prime. Yes, he's dealt with some durability issues, but they need a quarterback. Since day one, I've been personally, I don't think Lamar Jackson happens. I think he ends up going back to Baltimore. I think they fixed that and he goes back. Um, me personally, and I think that this since day one, I've kind of said this is what's going to happen. I got Will Levis going to uh, Indianapolis right here. I have it going a different route, but the same position. Measurables, measurables. measurables. Okay. Six foot four, 244 pounds. 4.440. A guy that is slightly little, little raw just for only playing 13 games at Florida. I think the Colts go this route. And with the fourth overall pick, the Indianapolis Colts select quarterback Anthony Richardson out of Florida. So Hammer just punked me and made the pick. So he played the beat. Ding, 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 ding. So he already made the pick. So we got to go Anthony Richardson to Indianapolis. And, and, and anybody who got this, I mean, anybody who's seen him firsthand, I mean, look, he killed the combine in Indianapolis. You know what I mean? So I can definitely see them leaning towards him. The measurables are crazy. You know what I mean? And all that good stuff. I really do believe they go, go leave us, but I'm going to give you this one. I'm going to give you, but I'm looking down this draft board right now, Lord. If, if he, if leave doesn't go here, man, he may drop drastically. And the way that I'm thinking about things, there's a good chance that he does. Okay. So I got Levis. Little bro got Anthony Richardson, but he already hit the ding, 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 ding. So Anthony Richardson will be going to Indianapolis here, even though I disagree, but it's all love. Anthony Richardson, Florida goes to Indianapolis. I think this is the easy call right here. I I'm going to be honest. You know, Carol, man, these guys love defense. I think Jalen Carter's on the board. There's no way they pass on him. I, 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 I mean, you could go Tyree Wilson. You know, I know you love him out of uh, Texas Tech, another guy that can be a, a potential, you know, all pro edge rusher at the next level. Um, Seattle did bring back, um, you know, Geno Smith on kind of a Derek Carr-esque kind of deal where they can get out of it, you know, pretty quick. But I think that, you know, they pay Geno. I don't know if – I think they'll maybe get another quarterback in the middle rounds. I'm going Jalen Carter here, bro. Who, who, who are you going with right here with Seattle? My guy, unfortunately – um, look, P. Carroll loves his guys on defense. They do need a guy on the edge. I think that they're going to take Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech here. You think so? Yes. Now, see, Seattle did pay big time money to bring in the, uh, the young pup from uh, from Denver, the stud. You know, uh, you know, so they got some help over there. The, uh, some of their D tackles are free agents right now and, and, and looking for jobs. I can see Tyree going over there. I can. But I don't see it happening here. And just because you stole the last one, I'm taking oh, this one right here. Okay. Jalen Carter out of Georgia goes to the Seattle Seahawks, where he will be an all pro for the next 10 years. Boom. All right. Now, this, I think, since he's still on the board, um, you know, Detroit went heavy at DB at the corner position in free agency, right? They needed corner help. They went out and got a lot of it. Um, I can definitely see them taking a corner here. Christian Gonzalez is on the board. Um, Devin Witherspoon's on the board. Um, they did draft a young pup last year out of Michigan. Um, edge rusher, dog. Um, what's his name, bro? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Um, Which one? Uh, 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 Detroit. They drafted, was it Chase? Uh, 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 Chase Hutchinson, right? Or no, Hutchinson. Yeah, the, the defensive lineman, Aiden Hutchinson. A Aiden Hutchinson. There you go. I said Chase. Um I think they're going to pair him with Tyree Wilson here. What, 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 what do you think? Ranked 28th overall in defense last season. And you had said that they did fucking bulk up a little bit on corners. They did. I mean, they're going to get another corner, in the, but this I, is a deep class. I believe with the sixth overall pick that they take Devin Witherspoon. Ooh. Let's, let's look at their corners because, okay, Devin Witherspoon's on the board. Mm -hmm. Christian Gonzalez is the taller, more lankier. What, what, Let's look at their corners real quick. Who's the corners on their roster? Hold on. You can't bring them up. I want to see the measurables on these guys. Because I want to see if they got, if they got, the, the, you know, what, what is Christian Gonzalez? 6'2"? Six, 6'2", two? Six, two, I believe. Somewhere around there, 6'1", six, 6'2"? Six, Let's see. Um, Corners, corners, corners. 
Because if they don't have that that taller, lankier guy, I, I do believe that they're going to go with Gonzalez. Jeff Okuda, Chase Lucas, uh, Jaron Williams, Khalil Dorsey, Cameron Sutton, Emmanuel Mosley, Jerry Jacobs, Will Harris, and Mac McCain. See, they got a solid DB group, bro. You think they're going to pass up on Tyree Wilson? Yeah, I do. Shit. Okay, so I, I got Tyree falling to Atlanta then. All right. Um, let's, let's, let's do this. Since if we're going corner, you got them taking Devin Witherspoon. I got them taking Christian Gonzalez. Let's the, let, let, let the chat do this. Everybody, Detroit at six. Who are they taking? Gonzo or Spoon? Everybody type in Gonzo or Spoon. Whoever you guys pick is going here at six to the Detroit Lions. I, I, I man, Tyree is on the board, but I, I can see him dropping though. I could definitely see him dropping. I, right. I don't, I don't. And when we get to that pick, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you who I see. Like when we get there, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm thinking right now with those. Damn, things. it's literally split down the middle here. A lot of spoons, a lot of gonzos. Um, damn. Right. Gonzo, 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 gonzo. Damn, that's wow. a lot of Oh. Go on, gonzo. With the six, six pick. overall pick. In the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Christian Gonzalez, cornerback, Oregon. Now, this is where it gets a little spunky right here. We're not trading back, you guys. We're not doing anything like that. Um, and there's another reason, too, also why, you know, I'm actually kind of happy. You know, I like Christian Gonzalez. Don't get me wrong. But there's still a corner on the board right now. Spoon is there at seven. We need a corner. We need some help drastically. Um, Duke Shelley, you know, uh, David Long, uh, Naya Hobbs, and Meek Robertson. We, we need some help. We need some help. The, and defense, I, the defense needs help as a whole. We ranked 31st in defensive overall last season. Yeah, um, yeah. Our, our PFF grade was god awful in regards to the passer rating we gave up. I believe it was like 92.6, 92.8, something like that. So our secondary, we need to bolster up alongside our D line. Yeah. But um, it's funny that you took Christian Gonzalez or Detroit took Christian Gonzalez at six because I had Spoon going to Detroit. I had Gonzo coming up to us. Okay, so flip-flop. Yep. Okay. Well, either way, look, Witherspoon was feisty. I think he fits that Raider mold. I know a lot of people are afraid because he kind of had like one year per, you know, of production at Illinois. I think him and Hobbs together is going to be phenomenal. Um we need corner. We need corner help. Patty is coming off of another Super Bowl. Um, Herbert's only going to get better. Uh, Russell Wilson's going to definitely be better under Sean Payton. We need some help in our DB room. And at this point, you guys, we are going to get cornerback out of Illinois. Devin Witherspoon. Boom. And there you have it. I like that. I like that. So far, Carolina, C.J. Stroud, the Texans, Bryce Young, Arizona gets their edge rusher and Will Anderson, Anthony Richardson goes to the Colts, Jalen Carter, Seahawks, Christian Gonzalez, Detroit, and we get Spoon out of Illinois. Now, I, I think me personally, this is an easy pick for me. Um, do you see Tyree going right here to Atlanta? They can use another edge rusher. So I, I had Tyree going to Seattle. So since we flipped it, yeah. Tyree is going to be in Atlanta instead. Yeah, I, I definitely see them. There's no way they pass up on a guy like that. They need all the help they can on the defensive side of the ball. Um, they're still building that thing up in Atlanta, and, and you you can never have enough edge rushers. I think that's going to be the guy of their future. Tyree Wilson, to me, is an easy call. I think they're running up to the podium at this point at eight if Tyree is on the board. So with that number eight pick in the 2023 draft, you guys, the Atlanta Falcons select – Tyree Wilson, edge rusher out of Texas Tech. Hammers guy. Hammers guy. Um, this is another easy pick to me. I'm going to be honest, uh, but, you know, could be wrong. They got Justin Fields. They went and got up. I got a bunch of, of offensive weapons for him. They got Chase Clay, uh, got Claypool last year. You know, they traded for DJ um, this season, you know, um, with Carolina. They got their, they got their um, you know, their tight end with, um, you know, my, my Notre Dame brethren, um, they still need some, some tackle, some offensive line help. 
Alex Leatherwood's not going to be that guy to help them get to the next level. Um, it could be Skronsky out of, out of, out of um, you know, <laughs> Northwestern, but I don't think they go guard here. I think they go right tackle, and I think they get Paris Johnson Jr. right here to be their guy at right tackle to, uh, uh, to, to push, you know, push that team forward. What, what do you think? With the ninth overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select – Paris Johnson, tackle out of Ohio State. I think that's the easy call, man. They, they traded for Leatherwood last year. Leatherwood is ass. Um, they need right tackle. I know they went out and paid a bunch of guys in free agency, but they got a guy of the future right here that they can, uh, you know, they can build up. And I think they really Paris Johnson Jr. does have like at least Pro Bowl capabilities at the next level. I think he's going to be solid for the Chicago Bears. And you got to protect Fields, man. The guy cannot. He shouldn't have to run for a thousand yards every damn season, bro. Like let him let, let him kick back in the pocket a little bit, man. I definitely think you know that's what it is. Running, dude running for his life with a lack of offensive line. So it starts right here and taking Paris Johnson with that first uh that first round pick. I think this is the easy one too at 10, man. The, the best running back in the draft is right there. Miles Sanders went to the Carolina Panthers. I think he signed like a three, four year deal with them. This is an easy call, bro. Like Robinson to me is clear cut the best running back in this draft, and it's not even close. And to be honest with you, I may be this may be a reach. He may be the best running back out of the last two or three classes. We've Here seen we we've seen what UT produces when it comes to running backs: Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, Jamal Charles. The list is is extensive. I'm a, I'm a, you guys know I'm a huge UT fan. And I had this conversation with Big Mike earlier today. I don't care where this kid goes. I'm going to follow his career. I'm going to support him. But he's not getting drafted that early. Whoa. Okay. So what do you have? So, okay, real quick. Philly lost. You know, they lost They lost some, some corners. They lost some safeties, right? Um, they lost a linebacker. They also lost guys on the defensive line as well. Yes, they lost. Yeah. So where do you have them going right here? I have them going edge. I have them drafting Nolan Smith out of Georgia. Nolan Smith, huh? So you're going to pair him with a bunch of his uh, ex-teammates, Jordan yep. Davis and, and uh, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, uh, nice to say it. Ced Cedric Benson, too. I realistically, I realistically see. Uh, I like that though, bro. Like that's a sneaky. That I would say if they were going edge, I thought it'd be Miles Murphy here. But no. okay, so you want to go down here a little bit and go grab Nolan Smith. He's yeah. coming off an injury last year, but the guy has all the talent in the world to get it done at the next level. Yep. Okay, so you think that Robinson's going to drop? There's still a free agent running back out there that could potentially go to the Eagles, and that's Ezekiel Elliott. Right now, he's, he's I, I know it's crazy to say that, but at the he's same done. time, he's done. when it comes to um, – look, we know this because we're, we're dealing with it now when it comes to Josh Jacobs that realistically the running backs are not heavily favored as they once were, whether it being the draft, whether it being contract extensions, whatever the case may be. I realistically don't see Bijan is going to be the first running back off the board. Oh, yeah, he will not be off the board until very late in the first round. Okay, I, I like that though. And and coming from a, t a t you got, I like that. So I'm gonna give this to you, bro. At the number ten pick, the Philadelphia Eagles select edge rusher Nolan Smith out of Georgia. I like that. I like that. Now this is a team right here that can go all over the place. Levis is on the board. Um, I, they they want to get rid of Tannehill. They want to get that that contract is just atrocious. They just drafted Malik Willis last year. Um, they could use some more, you know, offensive help. They need some weapons on the outside. Um, you know, they got my boy Burke last year out of Arkansas. Um, you know, let go of AJ Brown a few years ago. They need some help on the offensive side of the ball. Yep. They're you know, Harold Landry's back next year. They just went and got Arden Key. They still got one of the greatest defensive tackles in the middle with, with, with Jeffrey Simmons. Um, so I think they stay away from the D line. Um, can it be some O line help? Yes. Can it be, you know what I mean? Because, you know, their, their left tackle, um, they just let them go. 
Taylor, uh, Taylor Luan. Taylor Luan. Look, dude, dude has had a, a very bad injury history over the last few years. Their offensive line last year ranked the worst in the league. Yeah. They are going to go the route of an offensive tackle, and they're going to select Broderick Roger Jones, Jones to tackle out of Georgia. I agree. I, I agree. I thought it could get a little tricky here with maybe taking the quarterback, but I think it's still too early, man. They had Malik Willis. They had him out there last year in limited fashion, just with nothing, man. It, it, it was it was kind of disgusting how, how, how they played him last year. But um, I agree. They, they need some O-line help, you know what I mean, replacing Taylor Lewan. Broderick Jones is the right pick here. At number uh, 11, the Tennessee Titans select tackle Roderick Jones out of Georgia. And I think that's a really good pickup for them. Whoever he's protecting, um, they got a good one right there. Texans back at 12. I'm going to be – look, they're gotta, they got to go defense here, right, bro? Like, like DeMarco Ryans is there. Like, like I, I, are they going to go get another offense? What They just lost their number one receiver. Exactly. Cook, with Dallas. So, do you think they go get their quarterback some help right here? They're getting a receiver. Okay, and, okay, okay. Um, before, before we continue this, for those that are in my chat right now, and even if you're in Graf's chat, I have pinned to in the chat tonight – and we're going to do this whenever I'm live for the rest of this month. It's Autism Acceptance Month. I am going to do a full-blown donation, but we're doing it strictly through Cash App. The Cash App link is pinned to the top. Whatever you guys want to donate, whatever we have at the end of the month is going directly. There ain't no tax, no this, no that. This first of the month, May 1st, we're donating everything to the Autism Society. So if you guys want to donate... Click the link. It's pinned to the top. Let's love get it, back into it. this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Shout out to Hammer for that great cause. And um, you know how we do over here, man. You know, Mel Shilmore, we, we, we do the charitable thing all day, every day, man. Um, yeah. And real quick. Yeah. Rest in paradise to the, to, to homie that created Cash App, actually, man. It's, yeah, it's I heard about that the other day. Yeah, right? in San Francisco, man. Um, all right. I think we're going to go two different guys right here. Who do you got? I agree they go receiver, but I got him taking Jordan Addison out of USC. I have him taking Jackson Smith, uh, Enigma. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And, and is there a reason specifically why you think, oh, damn, Quentin Johnson is still on the, on the board. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> nope. Hey, Texas guy, TCU, I got them taking Quentin Johnston. All right, go for it. With the number 12 pick, the Texans select – Quentin Johnston out of TCU, wide receiver. I think that's I think that's easy. Um, Thirteen. This is a weird team right now, you guys, because if this Aaron Rodgers shit collapses, right, and and he ends up not going to the Jets. Oh, I hope it does. <laughs> they lost Mike White. He went to Miami. He signed like a, a year, two year deal or some shit with them, right? Mm -hmm. Got a nice little paycheck too. Um, Zach Wilson is on the outs. They, he, they're trying. He's trying to leave. They're trying to have him get out of here. If, if this shit falls through with A-Rod, man, they're going to need a quarterback, right? I, me, me personally, I don't think they go QB. I think that Aaron Rodgers is solid. I think that that's going to happen. But it would be funny with, with Will Levis here on the board and the Jets not having a clue who will be their quarterback if, 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 if Aaron Rodgers doesn't show up. Um, they do have a defensive-minded um, head coach. They went offense heavy in free agency. They went and picked up Alan Lazard and a bunch of other guys. Um, you know, they got, uh, what Brees Hall coming back this year at the running back position. Yep. They have a young stud out there, a wide receiver. They have a really, really good tight, young tight end as well. Um, where do you have them going right here? Do you want, do they get maybe an edge rusher to put next to Quentin? Um, you know, miles Murphy's on the board. Uh, they don't need another receiver. They're, they're, they're deep at the receiver position. They can go get a defensive tackle, uh, to put next to Q Brian Breesy's on the board. Or they're, they, gonna go, they're going oh, the route of offensive tackle. They need I somebody agree. on the they need somebody on the other side of the ball. Um yep, they're gonna I drag agree. Peter Skronsky out I of agree. Northwestern. Easy, easy call at 13. The New York Jets select Peter Skronsky out of Northwestern. T-Rex arms, but will probably be a dog at the next level. All right, New England. We all know hoodie. Is a defensive genius. Um, they need some help on the offensive side of the ball. Last year, they had a D coordinator calling the place. Um, there's so many, you know, rumors and reports right now about them, 
you know, wanting to get rid of Mac Jones. They came out today and said that that's not the case. They drafted Bailey Zappé last year, I believe, in the fourth or fifth round. Um, that was my guy in last year's draft. They need a number one receiver. They went and got Juju. Um, they lost Jacoby Myers. I think they go receiver here at 14. Um, what, what do you think? I think they're going to go with a guy that's close to home, a guy that we just uh, hosted uh, for a visit a couple of days ago. They are going to take wide receiver Zay Flowers out of Boston College. I like Every, that. The combine, his stock draft, uh, his draft stock rather shot up um, with his 40 time, 4.44, um, with his broad jump, which I believe was like a 10 yeah. 7. His, his stock fucking went up. And, 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 and the thing about him is, you guys, he had over a thousand yards last year. Yep. The guy is fast as hell. He's only what, 5'10, 5'9, 5'8, somewhere? Five, like he's Five nine last year had seventy eight receptions for a thousand and seventy seven yeah. yards and twelve touchdowns. He played predominantly on the outside. Um, they ain't gonna no, fly. In, they ain't gonna fly in the league. There's no audio. What do you mean? They're saying there's no audio. What? Yo, if you guys can hear us, thumbs up. Can you hear us? Okay. 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 Um. I can see that. I can see that. I can definitely see them taking Zay Flowers. They need a guy that to, uh, you know, to take to to replace Jacoby Myers with. That was a yep. guy in the slot. I do think that he's going to end up being a slot receiver at the next level. I mean, he can still play on the outside, yep. but I think they convert him, have him in the slot. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think that's a, a nice call right there. They they seen him more than anybody. Local dude. Um, at number 14 in the 2023 draft, the New England Patriots select wide receiver Zay Flowers out of Boston College. I like, I like that. I like that. All right, right here. Do you think that Green Bay finally selects a receiver in the first round once A Rod is gone? That would be hilarious. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, Jordan Love needs some help. Lazard is gone. They they got a couple guys last year with Romeo Dubs, um, uh, Christian Watkins, a uh, uh, Christian uh, Watkins out of uh, where do you go? Where the fuck did he come out of? Because like like, like South Dakota days. State or something, South like, Dakota. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can see Green Bay going wide receiver, but it, historically they haven't, and they won't. And, they won't this time around either. They're gonna go defense. Okay, so do you uh, think do you think they go edge? Because I, I can see them taking Lucas Van Ness out of Iowa. Ding, ding, ding. Yep. Okay, that's, where that's I was such going. a that's such a Green Bay pick. Right yeah, here. exactly. Yep. Yeah, well, I look. I agree. At, at fifteen, we're gonna keep this shit short and sweet. The Green Bay Packers select edge rusher out of Iowa, Lucas Van Ness. Boom. Okay. We're doing all this without looking at these guys' rosters, too. I love it. We're having some fun right here. Um, right now, the Commanders, they need help everywhere. Um, shit. Levis is still on the board, but they got Sam Howell. They'll probably run with him. Um, they drafted him out of North Carolina a year or two ago. Um, they got some nice weapons on the outside. They, they still got a young running back, Ryan Robinson. Um I think they go defense. They got they got an old school head coach that loves defense, right? Um, they have a stout defensive line. They brought their defensive tackle back, back cashed him out. Uh, they have Jonathan Allen as well right next to him. I don't know if the young pup, man, that they got out of Ohio State, you know, Chase is going to be ready, man. He's always hurt year in and year out. Um, they still have Montez Sweat too, right? Yep. They have Montez Sweat. They don't really need an edge rusher. So, so what, what do you what do you think? They don't need a defensive tackle. Do you think they go corner here? I think they go offense. I think they're another team that needs help at the offensive line position. Okay. And this guy stood out tremendously. Another one whose uh, draft stock went up, but his draft stock went up after the Senior Bowl. Offensive lineman, uh, offensive tackle rather, out of Tennessee. Oh, I'm, okay. Dar uh, I'm Darnell right. Wright. I like that. They do need some help on the O-line. And Darnell Wright, he's rising up a lot of people's draft boards at this point. Um, I could have seen them go a corner here, 
Definitely, they need some help. Kelly Ringo's on the board. Deontay Banks, Maryland, another local guy. Cam Smith is still on the board out of South Carolina. Joey Porter Jr. Um, damn, that might be a sneaky pickup for them, man, going O-line right now. Hmm. Damn, I see. I got them going corner, man. They need a safety, too, and Brian, Brian Branch is there out of Alabama. Um, they got a young pup coming in to, to, to play at the quarterback position is Sam Howell. They got to protect him. I, I, you know what? We'll, we'll go. We'll go at 16. The Washington Commanders select offensive tackle out of Tennessee, Darnell Wright. They got to protect the young guy. I see it. I see it. All right. Pittsburgh is on the board at 17. These guys love their defense. They love their defense. Um, damn, Osiris uh, Torrance is still on the board, too, out of Florida. I forgot. Um, they love their defense. We know this shit. Like, yep. Pittsburgh historically goes defense. You know, they got some nice weapons on the offensive side of the ball. Um, damn, bro. Like, you know, they got their running back of the future. They just drafted a young guy out of Pitt um, last year at the quarterback position, so they don't need a QB. Um, I could see them going to get a corner here, and I think personally – they're going to go corner. Didn't they just lose Cam, uh, Cam Sutton Believe to Detroit? Did. Yeah, to Detroit. Yeah, so I think they're going to I think they're going to go get Joey Porter Jr. out of Penn State. They're going to go get a guy that used to a son of one of their, you know, one of their guys. And I yep. think this is an easy call. Yeah. Um, keep it local. Love Joey Porter's game. Lengthy arms, the, the, the size of damn Dikembe Mutombo's. I think he's going to be dope at the next level. At number 17, the Pittsburgh Steelers select corner out of Penn State, Joey Porter Jr. All right. So who did Detroit grab earlier, little bro? Who, who, do, who do we have him take? Oh, fuck. Who did Detroit take? I think Detroit took Gonzo. You, you picked for him. No. So Gonzo. Yeah, it's a Gonzo. Okay. So they got a corner. Yep. Okay. They got a slew of wide receivers. Yep. They don't, they don't need a receiver. Um, they can use another running back. Oh, you know what? They they just signed uh, Dave Montgomery. David Montgomery. Um, they're not going to go running back. Um, nope. They could use some O line. They could use some O line help. Um, they could I, also use. They could also use another offensive specialist, and that is a tight end. Ooh, who's the tight end? No. Oh, yeah. They ha they have to replace. Um, what's his name? They just traded to uh, Hockinson. Minnesota. Hockinson yeah. is gone. Yeah, Hockinson is gone. Could you see him go tight end right here at 18? I could see them going tight end, and I could see him taking a tight end out of your school. L Michael, okay. Yeah. But let me let me see this, though, real quick. Who's their edge rushers on their roster? Hutchinson is one of them. Yeah, who, who's on the other side of him uh, right now? Hold up. I still got that. Go figure. I still got that depth chart up. Um, Charles Harris. Okay. I think they go edge rusher right here, bro. Mm, okay. I think they build that. I think they build that D line up. You can, this is a deep, deep tight end class. Why go get a tight end at 18 when you can get one in the second or third round? Why not have an additional offensive specialist weapon for Jared Goff? That Could team, that team was so close of getting into the playoffs last year. They <sighs> need, I definitely feel like they need to go that route of a tight end right here. I think they go miles Murphy, bro. Okay, you guys, let me know in the chat. This You guys got to break this one up right here. So, Lil Bro got, you know, Detroit taking, you know, Michael Meyer or my, Michael Mayer out of uh, Notre Dame, my guy, um, even though, you know, King Kate is a dog out of Utah. Um, mm -hmm. I got them taking Miles Murphy, an edge rusher right here at 18. Let me know what y'all think. Mayer, Miles Murphy, 6'5, 268. I, I, a sneaky, they could be sneaky and take Will Levis, man. You know what? I don't know, man. Levis, I mean, no, Mayor, they go D. I agree. Uh, John Beck says, can't see maybe right here. Murphy, Murph. I think they go defense, bro. I feel like I see, I see Detroit taking a tight end. And funny enough, like you're talking about Murphy, I see Tampa actually taking Murphy with their, uh, with their pick. Who's who's their um who's their DTs right here on Detroit? D, D, uh, Detroit. Detroit. Uh, Detroit's DTs. 
You have Alim McNeil mm-hmm. and Isaiah Bugs. Oh, they need some defensive tackle help. I, to be honest, bro, I can see Cansey going right here. Shit. They need a defensive tackle. It, it, it's Brian Breesy right here, or or man. Damn, Dewan Jones is still on the board too, huh? Big Mike said mayor as well. <laughs> mayor. I, do you think they take a tight end right here? I think so. I think I think they go defense, but I'm I, I'm gonna give little bro this one right here. At 18, the Detroit Lions select tight end out of Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. I'll give you that one. I think they go defense, though. I think they go defense. Now, Tampa Bay needs a lot of help right now. They lost their quarterback. They lost a lot of, uh, you know, some pieces on the defensive side of the ball. They can they can use another corner. Um they need some defensive line help. Yeah, I see it. Big Mike, I had him take – yeah, I had him taking the defensive lineman. But it is what it is. Um, Tampa Bay needs some help on the defensive side of the ball. And right now, the best defensive guys on the board right now, Miles Murphy, um, Ryan Breesy, two Clemson guys. And also, I like Isaiah um, Foskey out of Notre Dame as well, another edge rusher. Kelly Ringo is the best cor- – ah, Cam Smith's actually the best corner on the board right now. Um, I think they go defense right here, bro. I, I think they do take Miles Murphy, edge rusher out of Clemson. With the 19th overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft, Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Miles Murphy, edge out of Clemson. Boom. Now, I think Seattle gets their quarterback of the future with Will Levis. Now, now they have Drew Locke, right? They still have him and they're still paying him. You know what I mean? So that's their backup. But this could be the team right here that actually takes a flyer on Levis. Gino, bro, is technically on a one-year deal. I know he signed, like, what was it, a three-year deal. But there's so many outs in that contract. They may go quarterback right here, bro. Who'd they get early? They got Jalen Carter? Yep. They got corners. They got they got Kobe. They got, you know what I mean, they got Tariq. They don't need any, they don't need any corners. <laughs> Jamal Adams is still there. They're not moving on from their safety. Um. They could use another edge rusher, though. So you got to. I got Levis, bro. I got Will Levis gone on here, bro. I'm going to put it like this. You got a nice uh, wide receiver tandem in Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. What college did Pete Carroll coach at? USC. I have them going the route of a receiver here and taking Jordan Addison out of USA. You think so? Yep. See, you had to use that fucking brain of yours, bro. (laughs) You had to go to USC. And and now you just literally flipped that shit on my... Tyler Lockett is old. He's getting up there in age. They're going to have to replace him here soon. Um, DK is going to be there for... uh, that. To me, honest with you, bro, that's that's an easy call to me. I... Damn, <laughs> Levis is dropping, bro. I mean, is it gonna be Baltimore, Minnesota, maybe? That may be the lick. You know, they're gonna, gonna get off. A, you're gonna be in for a surprise. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, okay. So, all right, at pick 20 in the 2023 draft, the Seattle Seahawks select wide receiver Jordan Addison. The USC connection is in full effect. All right, we hate the Chargers. We should just pick, like, the worst player on the board right here. Like, <laughs> let's go pick, like, a seventh rounder and just throw them to the Chargers. Uh, I wish we could. They're, they're paying a bunch of receivers. Um, they just – didn't they just lose their tight end? Uh, yep. They can use a tight end. Yep. Um, they spent a lot of money on the defensive side of the ball. They got J.C. Jackson coming back. They can't get out of that contract. Khalil Mack's still there. They don't need any, any edge rushers. They could use a defensive uh, defensive tackle, um, maybe even a linebacker. Kyle Van Noy is a free agent. I don't think they go linebacker here at 21, though. Um, damn, man. They may go get. They're going to take Dalton no, Kincaid. Dalton Kincaid. Yeah, yep. they may go get the young kid out of Utah, and that's some scary shit right there, bro. Yep. At 21, the bitch-ass Chargers select. <laughs> Tight end, Dalton Kincaid. 
out of Utah. The kid that put up over 200 yards in that one game and cooked. Cooked, cooked. He said Juice Scruggs to the Chargers at 21. <laughs> I love it. I that would be some Staley shit. Hey, they, they could have <laughs> went and got Robinson because Austin Eckler wants to get out of there. Yeah. That could have been where he went, to be honest, because he wants to go. Eckler's, yeah. he's, he's saying the worst case scenario is him still playing for the Chargers. So that could have been where Robinson went. All right, right here. This is where it gets a little. Baltimore just went out and got a receiver in free agency. Um, wait, who'd they get? Fuck did Baltimore get? They signed. Chat, help us out real quick, man. We do so many of these damn videos. They went and signed a, they went and signed a receiver. I know that. And now they're talking to Odell Beckham as well. Oh, Jesus. Um, who is not worth $15 million right now? I don't care what anybody says. He needs to play on a cheap, uh, proven play contract, like realistic. They got Nelson Aguilar. There you go. They went and got Nelly. Uh, yeah. I and mean, that's not going to, that's not going to move the needle. And that's not going to make Lamar want to go back there and play. Um, the best receiver here on the board, they had Hollywood, right? Yep. And he ended up going to Arizona. They traded him. Yep. I can definitely see them taking Jalen Hyatt right now out of Tennessee to speedster. Um, they need that fact. They, they need that guy, that, that speed guy. I, I can definitely see them that he would definitely help them out. And that would, that would, that could be kind of that, that receiver that maybe Lamar says, you know what, man, I might come back. Scroll they still up, got, scroll they up got, real quick. Let they, me got, see. they got, they got the kid out of Ohio State still there too. Jackson Smith. No, scroll up on the other side. Let me see. Um, no, no, no. The teams that already drafted. Let me see. Oh, that's right. You had Quentin Johnson going to TCU. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do um, you think receiver right here? I do think receiver. And funny enough, I had Quentin uh, Johnson going to Baltimore. So, um, Baltimore's at twenty two. Do, do they do they pull the trigger on him and Hooker? No. Okay. They they are going to go receiver. Um, pick one, bro. Like I said, I had Quentin Johnson going there. So it's a toss up, man. Jackson Smith or uh, Jalen High. I think they go the speed factor. For some reason, I feel like Baltimore is going to get that speed guy. Yeah. All right. At 22, the Baltimore Ravens select wide receiver. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, dun, dun. <laughs> they go get receiver, the wide receiver out of Tennessee, man. Jalen Hyatt. He goes to Baltimore. All right. This is this is this is the team right here, man. They got Kirk Cousins pretty much on he got one more year, right? On his deal. Yeah, like so he offered to take uh, a discount and an extension with the Vikings this past offseason, and the team turned him down. So I think Minnesota's front office right now is highly intrigued by like by the idea of a young quarterback on a rookie deal. So this is where I think we'll leave the up going. If, if they could go Jackson Smith because they just lost Thielen. He went to uh, Carolina, signed a three-year deal with them. They could definitely replace their wide receiver right here. But I think the value is just there. Like, Levis is on the board. And, yep. and I, I just don't I – don't, I don't know how Minnesota passes on him. The only thing I think is that if, if they think that they're that close, they're not going to go get a backup court, a quarterback to back them up. But I could see Jackson going over there, bro. I could, I could see the young receiver going over there. Let me see who, who else is on the board right now. Um, the Giants don't need it. Yeah, most of these teams don't need a quarterback at all. The only other team that's that that's down this list right now that I can see is New Orleans. Maybe getting one to back, you know, to 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 take car spot eventually. But this is the this is the sweet spot. Unless a team, which I think at this point, I think a team would trade up. For, uh, for you know, for Levis, if he if he gets past these guys, damn, do you want to go Levis? Do you want to go defense receiver? Like what, what? I can't hear you. I'm, going, I'm you go. going to Levis here. Um, and honestly, I think that he may be off the board sooner. Yeah, via trade. I think he's going to end. I think he they're going to end up moving up like somewhere yeah. around the 13, 14 spot, and they're going to take Will Levis um, at quarterback. Okay. I like this. 
Okay. At 23. Oh, I, I know where Robinson is going now, too. I look down the board. I know exactly where he's going. Let's just say he's going to stay in Texas. The Minnesota Vikings select quarterback out of Kentucky, Will Levis. He will be taking cousin spot after this year. The Jacksonville Jaguars are on the board. Surprising team last year. Trevor Lawrence finally got his shit together. He's balling. Um, they got a slew of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. They actually have another uh, receiver coming back this season. Um, he's a betting man. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> that uh, yeah. Um, they're, 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 they're stacked on the offensive side of the ball. Um, they just lost the edge rusher, though, with Arden Key. I can definitely see them going edge here. Um, I think right here, Isaiah Foskey goes off the board out of Notre Dame. They got to replace Arden Key. Um, who, who's the other edge rushers there? They still have Josh. Um, they still have Josh Allen. Josh Allen's still there, and didn't uh, Calais Campbell just go back? Or did Calais Campbell go to Atlanta? He went to Atlanta. Oh, shit. Do you think maybe they get an offensive lineman to protect Trevor Lawrence here? Uh, Osiris is still on the board out of Florida. No, I think that they go the route of corner because their defense last year ranked last. Like, they had a terrible, terrible defense last year. I don't get how how they got through a couple of the games. Like, Wh Who's their corners right now? Uh, let me pull it up. Shout out to everybody here in the building, man. Wipe them feet. Hit them thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, Trayvon Walker, they just drafted him last year. So they, I, I, yep, number one pick. So they got, they got, they got one. <laughs> Let's something. Yeah, they also solo, man. They did just lose their right tackle. Montariq Brown, Trayvon Campbell, Tyson Campbell, Chris Clay, uh, Clay Brooks, Trey Hemden. Gregory Jr., Darius Williams. That's their uh, secondary right now. That's their corners, yeah. rather. I, I we I think they can go corner right here. Um, I, I, the, I, I I see them taking Deontay Banks out of Maryland. Okay, okay. I can see that. I can see that. You know what? What? Damn, over Cam Smith too. Yep. Okay. All right. At twenty four, you guys, the Jacksonville Jaguars select. Corner out of Maryland, Deontay Banks, a sneaky, sneaky um, corner in this draft. I think it's going to ball out at the next level. 25, Hammer. I'm going to let you take this because you live up there in that area. I know you're very familiar with the Jets and the Giants because you hear about them all the time in the, in the tri-state area. Um, I, I got to say this, though. They, you know, they just brought back Saquon on, you know what I mean, on the franchise tag. They just uh, signed their QB, you know what I mean, to a massive contract. Um, they still need to replace their tight end, right? Who's their tight end right now? Oh, they got Waller. They got Darren Waller. I'm tripping. They got Waller. Um, they can always use a receiver. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, funny enough, they have Waller as the best weapon on um on offense right now. Like in regards yeah. to the receivers, tight end, that apparently is their best receiver right now. But I, I, I would I would go Jackson Smith right here, man. I have them going the route of defense, and I have them taking Cam Smith out of South Carolina. Who's their corners right now? Um, tell you one person that's not there, Bradbury. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Uh, so you said corner. You got him. You got Sam. You got Cam Smith. Yeah, they have a Dory Jackson. They have Darnay Holmes, Nick McLeod, Leonard Johnson. They have Cardell Flott, Amani. I don't even want to butcher yeah, that dude's they, name. They Aaron Robinson and Radarius Williams. Okay. I can see them taking a the corner here. Um, it's a toss-up. I, I, I can see them taking Kelly Ringo. To me, that's like a giant pick. But if you want to run with Cam Smith, we can do that. At 25, the New York Giants select cornerback. South Carolina, Cam Smith. I, I look, bro. Robinson is gone right here, bro. Yep, and this is exactly where I had him going. Zeke is Zeke is out of there. Um, you know they just brought back um, my my, my uh, uh, pa, Tony Pollard, but he's coming off of what a torn ACL or some shit. Yeah. I, um, I, I think ACL, or I think he broke his. No, he broke his leg. Broke, broke his, his leg. leg. 
yeah, yeah whatever it was. But I, this is an easy call. Robinson is off the board. So, uh, Jerry, Jerry can see this dude week in and week out in Texas. This, this is a foregone conclusion that Robinson is a Dallas Cowboy, right? Like we, we've talked about this. Uh, I've talked about it um, from the time his before his season was even over with Texas. I said there were teams that were in dire need of a running back. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be Dallas at the time. Um, I talked about the Eagles. I've talked about the Bills because the Bills really – their running backs are really not the best in the world. At right? all. And they're almost never utilized. I think if the Bills were able to get them, they would have. I even said the Ravens, but I also said the Ravens because Mel Kuyper told Todd McShay on national TV that if the Baltimore Ravens selected B. John Robinson, that he would quit. Yeah, I mean, and I was know. like, I was with it. I was so hype. I was like, yes, yes, yes. But, <laughs> you know what they say? There's no place like home. And um, I think Bijan will thrive in Dallas. And like I said, look, we know who my team is. We know who I live and I die for. But I'm going to follow this kid's career. I see Bijan Robinson with a 26 overall pick out of UT. Hook them horns, oh. Bijan Robinson. Go on. Okay. I know Buffalo's pissed right now. Yep. But they'll be okay. Yeah. So right here, where do you have Buffalo going? They still have Gabe Davis. They have Steph, you know, they got Stefan Diggs. Um, Josh Allen's a superstar. They need a running back, but they're not going to go running back right now. Um, they can use some defensive help. They lost a few guys in free agency. They need help on the offensive line, especially after the last two playoff games um, this past season. Like, I, I that was the worst I've ever seen Josh Allen play. The last two playoff games that he played against Miami and then um, Cincy, you know, dude was getting lit up left and right. I have the Buffalo Bills right here taking Dewan Jones, the offensive tackle out of Ohio State. See, I got him going to, to, to the Bengals. They just lost their right tackle. It's a toss-up with the Bengals, though. It was him or Jackson Smith, another Ohio guy. Because, and I know you're tripping, like, oh, they got a bunch of receivers. They're not gonna. They're gonna have to pay all these guys, mm-hmm. and one of them is coming up on a huge, huge extension here soon. And Cincinnati is not gonna be able to pay all those guys. I, I'll tell you one thing with Cincy, and I, I, I'll I guess I'll give this away right now. Anyways, look, they lost some key guys in their secondary. Yeah. Um, they lost Jesse Bates. They lost um, what's his name, uh, Von Bell. I actually have Cincy going the route of a corner and I have them taking Brian branch. Brian branch. Okay. So let, let, let's, let's go Buffalo right here. Yep. <sighs> you got them taking the O line. Yep. I'm looking down this list real quick. I know they can use damn can't he's still on the board too. Mm-hmm. They can, they, they can use a linebacker, but I don't think they take drew Sanders here. Maybe Jack Campbell. I don't see – I really – I don't see I, – I, I don't know. This linebacking class is not as stacked as people believe it is. And yeah. some of these guys, their measurables and some of their weaknesses, it doesn't – none of these linebackers scream out realistically. They don't scream out first-round pick right now. Shout out to our brother Halo in the building. Oh, brother. Um, All right. Yeah, Look, if, if you want to go that route, if you want to go that route, Brand, you know, Branch can play some corner, play some safety. I, I think that's a, you know, a Swiss Army knife for Buffalo. I, I can see that. I can see we'll that. Go, no, Dewan Jones to Buffalo, Brian Branch to Cincy. Oh, shit. See, now you're not going to double dip on me like that, bro. I, look, y- you tell me what you think. And I think and- Buffalo, I think Buffalo personally goes defense here. I think they go get a defender. They, they, okay. You know what I mean? Um, the offense is is still like clicking like crazy. They can find a running back later on in the draft. I think they go defense, bro. Like I don't I don't think they I don't think they build the O line up here. I don't. And I think that that guy DeWan Jones, it's either him or Jackson Smith. Is an Ohio State guy that goes to Cincinnati. Me personally, okay. Okay. but I think ah, Brian Breesy still on the board right here. Brian Branch is still on the board. They, they may go corner too. I, I can see Ringo gone right here. I can see Ringo going. I think Ringo goes in the second round. I think. Oh, the Bengals did sign Orlando. They signed Orlando Brown. You're trip. I'm tripping. Totally forgot they signed Orlando Brown. They did. I forgot. Shit. 
So now it makes sense, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it definitely does. Hey, who that? I, I, and that's exactly where I'm going with him, bro. If, if this happens, I promise you. Um, all right, man. I, I'm going to give you this pick, bro. Buffalo takes who? Uh, Dewan Jones. All right, Dewan Jones to yeah, Buffalo. They, they got to keep Josh Allen standing up, man. Like, I sat there I sat there and did both of those playoff games. Like, I live streamed both of those games, and I, I was just – I was shocked to, to see him take as many hits as as many sacks as he did. I was man. like, what the yeah. fuck? Cincinnati, I can see them taking a, a corner right here or safety. Brian, oh, they got, they, yeah, shit, they got to, they got to replace uh, Jesse Bates. That's what I said. <laughs> Bro, I'm all over the place, man. Brian Branch is off the board. Now, Jackson Smith goes to New Orleans right here to reunite with Chris Alave. And now Derek Carr has a phenomenal wide receiver room, bro. Think Jackson so? Smith, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas is always hurt. He's always hurt. Like I, you can't depend on him. You know, what I mean, they even they're already saying he may not even be ready for the regular season already. I think that they take Jackson Smith right here, bro. One one thing when it comes to New Orleans, and I've kind of seen this over the years, is like their defense always seems to be a really solid foundation for the yeah. most part. Like, yeah, and they definitely. have, they have some studs on defense. I actually think that they're going to go the route of an edge rusher and take Will McDonald. He see, I, I think he goes somewhere else. I think he goes to another team that's still on the board right now. Oh. I'm going to bro. Hey, if, I you're you, I, who I, if you're thinking who I think you're thinking, yeah, I, am. I have somebody I have. If it's who I think you're thinking it is, it is. I have him go into one of those last two teams. Yeah. All right. Let, let's let's do this. Jackson Smith right here is too good. You reunite him with Chris Olave. Michael Thomas is just not, you know what I mean? He's he's just hurt all the time. He's not a for short thing. I'm going Jackson Smith right okay. here at 29 to New Orleans, giving Derek Carr another weapon um, on the outside. Philly, we didn't give him a, we didn't give them a, a running back, right? Nope, and they're not going to running back here either. Okay, so they go defense again? Yep. Okay, so ring goes on the board. Um, they lost Bradbury. Who they take early? They took Nolan. I can see them taking a corner right here, or or a line. I'm not sure they could take another linebacker. Shit, I don't know. Like I said, Ed Rusher, BJ's on the board. Man, I don't, don't see. I don't see linebackers coming out of the first round. I do yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a hey, Kelly Ringo. I have the Eagles taking. Kalasha Kansi. Ooh. And this is something that I've, I've messed around with this. Um, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They got okay. Jordan Davis. Why, why, why would they need another nose? Why didn't? Why did they need all those defensive tackles? Um, they brought back. Fletcher. They brought back Fletcher too, right? I think they did bring back Fletcher. Kyle. Another one year deal. Yeah, this is probably going to be his final year though, as well. Oh, they um, re-signed Bradbury. Damn, bro, I'm all over the place today, man. Yeah. So oh like, yeah, last minute they, they brought him back and, and, and then they brought Slay back too. They don't need a corner. I think realistically, like I've messed around with a couple of different mock drafts. I was reading an article, I think it was uh Sports Illustrated about a week and a half ago, that they actually see the Raiders potentially trying to make some type of trade with the Eagles for that 30th pick where it could land us, can't see potentially, but right here, we're not doing trades or anything. The Eagles are going to take Kalasha Kansi with the 30th overall pick. You think so over Brian Breesey? Yep. All right, I'm going to give it to you. That's a stout-ass defensive line. Again. Yeah. Now, this is the team that I was talking about. Who do you have? These bitch-ass motherfuckers, man. Who do you have? Um, I'm trying to think right here, though, because – Kansas City built up their defense last year in that in that draft. Mm -hmm. They went out, and got Leo Chanel. They went, and got Trent McDuffie. Um, they still they have, have a nice draft. This guy more on offense. Guy more on the old, yeah on the offensive side of the ball, but they still need a true wide receiver. One, I hope D Hop doesn't end up over there. Um, I can see them going corner right here. I can see it being Ringo, um, or it could be like a Josh Downs. 
Who did they just recently lose? Lost Juju. Who did they lose on the offensive line? Yeah, they lost Orlando Brown. Yep. They did like they did bring back Jawan Taylor, but I do have a guy right now that can play left or right side. And I think they, they are gonna go the route of an offensive lineman. I Anton think Harrison. Kansas, I think the Kansas City Chiefs takes Anton Harrison, the uh, offensive tackle out of Oklahoma. Damn, that that you know what, bro, you might be right. Cause I, I, I think that they still these guys draft really well with the receiver with, with the receiving core, bro. Like they, they can find another receiver later on. I was thinking they may take one right here. Um, take the young pup out of North Carolina. Uh Josh Downs is a dog. I have to agree with you, bro. I'm going to give you that one because I, they definitely need um, some more O-line help. Anti Harrison, man, at 31. Yeah, there you go. I can see that. I can definitely see that. All right, so let's run this over real quick, y'all. We might have been – we might have sh- literally fucked this draft up. I don't know. But I kind of like what this looks like. Carolina, C.J. Stroud, Texans, Bryce Young, Arizona, Will Anderson Jr., Anthony Richardson goes to the Colts, Jalen Carter to the Seahawks, Christian Gonzalez to the Detroit Lions, Spoon comes to the Raiders, Tyree Wilson, Falcon, Paris Johnson Jr., Chicago Bear, Nolan Smith, that's such a Philadelphia pick too, I can definitely see that. Um, Broderick Jones, offensive tackle out of Georgia, goes to Tennessee to protect whoever the hell is throwing the ball down there in Tennessee. Quinton Johnston, wide receiver out of TCU, goes to the Texans. Peter Skoronsky, um, offensive tackle out of Northwestern, goes to the Jets to go help protect Aaron Rodgers. Zay Flowers stays in the area from Boston College, goes to Foxborough. Um, Lucas Van Ness goes to Green Bay. That's such a Green Bay pick. Darnell Wright goes and uh, helps protect Sam Howe, the young guy out of North Carolina. Joey Porter Jr. follows in his pop's footsteps. Goes to Pittsburgh, where he's probably going to have a great career. My guy, Michael Mayer out of Notre Dame. Tight end goes to Detroit. Um, you know, gives them another weapon on the offensive, offensive side of the ball. Miles Murphy, edge out of Clemson, goes to Tampa Bay. Jordan Addison, the USC connection, is in full effect with Pete Carroll. They get their wide receiver of the future. Dalton Kincaid, tight end out of Utah, goes to the Chargers. Jalen Hyatt, the speedster out of Tennessee, goes to Baltimore. Will Levis. Goes to Minnesota to back up Kirk Cousins for a year and then takes over the reins. Deontay Banks, corner out of Maryland, goes to Jacksonville. I like that pick, though. Uh, Cam Smith, corner out of South Carolina, goes to the Giants. I think this was easy. Uh, B. Robinson goes to Texas. I mean, goes to Dallas. I think that's a that's an easy call. Uh, Dewan Jones, um, tackle out of Ohio State, goes and helps protect Josh Allen. Brian Branch, safety slash corner. He can do it all back there. Swiss Army knife. Goes to Cincinnati. Takes uh, Jesse uh, Bates. Replaces Jesse Bates out there in Cincinnati. Jackson Smith, wide receiver out of Ohio State. Is over there in uh, New Orleans with Chris Alave. Like I said before, Michael Thomas is always hurt. Kalijah Cansey. That's an interesting pick right there at 30 because they're so deep on that D-line. But I can definitely see it. He stays in Pennsylvania. And this goes a few hours away to Philadelphia. Plays with that stout defense. And then Anton Harrison, tackle, goes out there and takes Orlando Brown's spot at the right tackle position. Take, don't close that out. Like when we finish this, take a screenshot of all 31. Something for us to take a look at come uh, April 27th. Just to see how many of these actually happen. Because I'll, I'll be fucking shocked as hell if we hit more than half of them. Definitely, definitely. You know what? We can do that, you guys. Y'all want to do one more? We, me, me and Hammer can do a whole Raiders draft right now on the way out if you guys want to. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Um, I might have me a few drinks real quick and just kick back and just and just and just shoot the shit. Um, somebody do me a favor. Whoever's in the chat, screenshot this if you can, man. Um, you know what? Never mind. I'll do it. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I want to keep this. I want to keep this so we can we can run over this shit in Vegas. All right, boom. Johnny, we're de- we're gonna do one. We're gonna do a Raiders only one. Michael, man. Boom. 
All right. Boom. There we go. There we go. Finna roll another one. Another one. Another one. Let me see. All right, y'all. Let me let me uh let me let me take this quick intermission. I gotta piss like a motherfucker. And then we're gonna get on it. All right. Hey, man. real quick, this show is brought to you by Woodson Whiskey dot com. Go over there to Woodson Whiskey, grab some bottles, tell them Graf and Hammer sent you. You already know what time it is. Shout out to my family over at Woodson Whiskey. I'll be right back. I'm about to piss on myself. <laughs> All right. For those that are in here right now, appreciate y'all. For those that are in Graf's channel, make sure to subscribe to Radio Nation News today as well. We're on that road to 7K. Yes, shameless plug, I know. But also, guys that are in the Las Vegas area, or if you guys plan on coming out for the draft, we're hosting three days. I don't know why that just came up. Three days, blackout division. We are shutting things down in Vegas for the second consecutive year for the 2023 NFL draft. You guys see what we have going on with the specials and everything. And we, Mount Shield Moore, will be there live, doing live coverage of the 2023 NFL Draft, you guys are not going to want to miss this. It's going to be another great time hanging out with the nation again. As always, it's always a blast. So if you guys are in that area, pull on up. Let's have a good time, y'all. And from what I'm hearing, we may have a few players in the building as well, you guys. So um, pull up. And uh, one thing that we're doing, too, that's really cool, every time the Raiders pick you guys, $5 with some whiskey shots. So every time we are on the clock, 5 Dollar whiskey, uh, what's in whiskey shots, man? So pull up and let's have some, let's have some fun, man. Facts, he said, the fastest piss ever. I was trying to get back to y'all, man. <laughs> wow, I think I got this one. Where did I get this? One? I actually ordered this one online because I was looking everywhere for it. Every time I've gone to Vegas, I've seen things that I've wanted and then they're sold out everywhere. I, I, I know I ordered it somewhere online though. Like I had to have this hat and I never wear snapbacks either, but yeah, appreciate you. All right, hold on. All right, let me get this rolling. Uh, we're going to be a barcode, Johnny. We're going to be a barcode. It is on East Flamingo Road. Let me pull it up again. I can't see it on that small ass screen. Um, fuck. I'll read it up. I'll read it up. <laughs> uh, barcode Burgers, 1590 East Flamingo Road, Las Vegas. Nevada, you guys. Shield Moore will be in the building covering the draft. You already know what time it is, man. Um, and like I said before, you guys, go over um, to blackoutdivision.com and enter to win home opener tickets, two tickets to the game, and our night before party and party uh, a party bus to the game. So make sure you guys go over there to um, blackoutdivision.com and um, put your emails in, man. So you can try to win some free tickets and a whole night on us, you guys. Real, real talk, man. And also, once again, shout to Wilson Whiskey, Happy Dad, Residency, Our Planet Raiders website, uh, Maverick, and Mikey's Vision as well, man. Let me see. All right. All right. Okay, Cloud9 said, I booked my flight for the full week, fellas. See you guys soon. That's what I'm talking about. Pull up, King. All right. Let's do this. We're going to do this with trades too, you guys. All right. So... As realistic as possible. This is what we're going to do. Uh, let me see. Let me see. No. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. No. Yeah. We're going to reject. That's the only trade. That's them, that's them trying to figure, trying to finagle something to uh, to sweeten that deal for Rodgers, too. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Facts. All right. So, right here. Damn, man. A lot of these guys are off the board right here, bro. Um, we're not... We just signed. We just re-signed Jermaine Illuminor. We got Mumford back um, year two. I don't. I don't think there's no reason to go get Paris Johnson Jr. Uh, Gonzo's on the board. Uh, Levis is on the board. Spoon is on the board. <laughs> we gonna take Spoon again, bro? I'm taking Gonzo. Okay, you want to take? You know what? I'm with you on this one. Let, let's 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 take Gonzo this one. Last last draft we took Spoon. Look, we are gonna follow the same trend. We're gonna take a corner right here. We're going to go get our guy out of Oregon, Christian Gonzalez. Boom. All right. I'm not yeah. trading with I'm not trading with them fuckers. Nah. Nah. Waiting. Hell nah, bro. Y'all tweaking. 
Now, this is interesting right here, you guys. Darnell Washington just went off the board. That's crazy. Um, Zay Flowers just came in for a top 30 uh, visit. I don't think we go receiver right here at all. Um, I think this is an easy call, though, bro. Like, I know Drew Sanders is there, and it's all great. We need some linebackers. But Kalijah Kansi is there on the board. Pull the trigger. Yeah. I mean, we need a defensive tackle, and I think that he's the guy – you know, he can help stop the run and he can get to the to the quarterback. I mean, it's it's easy, man, for me. Um, there we go. I think it'd be a nice linebacker sitting right here waiting for us, right here. Oh, my boy Forbes fell to the third, huh? Noah Sewell's there. Take a look at um quarterbacks. I already know where you're going with here because you keep taking the same quarterback every third round. It's hilarious. Tanner McKee. Yeah, he's still there. I don't want to take one right now, man. All right, go back to all. You say you want to go linebacker? You know, there's a sneaky safety, too, out of, out of Boise State. I think he's the tallest safety in the draft, right? He's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Who's that? J.L. Skinner? Yeah, J.L. Skinner. He's a dog. Oh. Um, damn, man, do you double dip at corner here? Because my Emmanuel Forbes is my boy, man. We, we can we can really double dip here and we take care of it. That'll be it after, after this. Skinner, 6'4", 209. God damn. damn. He was a dog, bro. He's different. But he's a guy um, that they would line. They could even line up and slot at the linebacker position because yeah. of that size. Mm. Hen oh, Henley's still there. He may fall. You think Henley falls to the next round? I think so. Well, let's let's take Forbes. Let's double dip at corner. Okay. Boom. Oh, we got two thirds. Yeah, we got. This is the wall. Henley's right there. Boom. Get your linebacker. Take him. All right. I like that. Okay. Keep falling. Keep right. falling the right way. Check quarterback here. I, I have a feeling he's already gone though. Who's Coon? Hey man, Coons is there too. Oh Jesus! All right, let me see. You said quarterback, right? Yeah, just see if he's there. Nope, he's Clayton. Yep. Aiden O'Connell came in. We we had a visit with him too out of Purdue. Yeah, but Aiden um, O'Connell's a guy that could potentially be there, like the fifth or sixth yeah, round. So later rounds, uh, we can double dip at, uh, at at linebacker right now and get two two man. Yeah, Henry. At Alabama. Um, you got a lot of people in here saying Clayton Toon and Jair Brown. Jai oh, yeah. Could use some safety help right here. What do you want to do? Safety? You want to grab another go linebacker? Safety. Go safety. All right. Let's go grab, let's go grab uh, our boy there. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Jair Brown. Damn, Jami, Jami's out of there. He's still there too, huh? Out of Florida State? Yep. I'm taking my boy Brown. All right, damn. Ooh, I like this. Hold on, 141. Damn, you trade back a lot, but you pick up a lot. 177, 189, 191, and 223 for 141. You get one that's 12 picks away from another, from one another. The other is two away from one another. Uh, you want to take it? I'll take it. Let's get creative right here. Fuck it. Let's have some fun. All right, so. We got two corners. We need another linebacker. That's what we need to do. We got a defensive tackle. We got a safety. Um, Jarrett Patterson's there. We can get another. Ooh, I would take Voorhees right I here, bro. That was coming. I'm telling you, dog. Like, like, bro, he is going to be a dog once he heals up from that injury, bro. Um, KJ Henry, the edge out of Clemson. My boy Nathaniel Dale is there. But wide receiver is not a, a need. Um, oh, Dorian Williams is there. Another linebacker out of Tulane. I'm taking I'm, – I'll, I'll take Voorhees right here, bro. We didn't – you know what we didn't um, grab yet? Uh, mm -hmm. Defensive tackle. No, we got we got uh, Kalijah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, we, forgot about We got that. Fancy. I love Tank, you guys, but we don't need Tank. You know okay. what I'm saying? We just got DeAndre Carter who can return kicks. I, I just – I don't – there's no real need, and I love Tank Dale. That's one of my favorite players in this draft. But – um. It's, to me, bro, it's 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 really between Voorhees and um, Dorian Williams. I'm hoping that he falls to the next next round. I, go, I take go, go Voorhees. Yeah, that 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 guy's gonna be a dog for us for years. All right. What do you see right here? Uh, fuck. Kirkland's Jim. there. Is there Kirkland is there? Do uh, D DTR is there? 
Check quarterbacks. He's still there. All right. Um, go back to all. What offensive line? Chandler Zaval is there. Yeah. He's another guy I've been messing uh, with when it comes to these drafts. Um, go with Kirkland. Yeah. Uh, we, we've been taking Jackson Kirkland forever. But we, we're pretty much back to back right here. I think we should take our quarterback right here, though, bro. Yeah. Since we've been offensive heavy, we, we got picked up a couple extra picks. Um, what do you want to do at the QB spot? You want to take DTR? I want to take Aiden O'Connell, Max Dugal, Hayner. What do you want to do? Hold on one sec. Um, scroll up real quick. Let me just check something on the big board. Go to all? No, no, no. Just leave it there. Oh, okay. One sec. One sec. I'll look at something real quick. Yeah, super. Kirkland could play guard and, and tackle. So that's why I'm telling you, you got Voorhees and you got Kirkland. That definitely sews up. Your old line for the future, man. Mafi, Mafi's off the board, solo. Me personally, I take DTR. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go that route. He just provides something that we don't have. You no, know, that the the mobility. Take DTR, man. We can develop him. All right, right here. Go back to all. It's just weird because, like, I'm looking at his his um his draft trends. I'm also looking at um numbers like over the last three years, and it was like he was at his worst in 2020. He shot up. Oh, Moppy's still on the board. Oh shit! Wait, my, my bad, bro. I'm listening. Yeah, 2021 shot up and then like dipped a little bit last season. Um, let me just say. 69.3 completion percentage, 3,159 yards, 27 touchdowns, 10 interceptions with a passer rating of 106.7. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we can develop them. Yeah. DTR, I guess he'd be that guy if we end up going quarterback that late. What do you think about taking – we need another linebacker. Uh, Mafia's – we, we already took Voorhees and we took Kirkland, so we don't need another guard. But uh, Payne Durham's there at the tight end out of Purdue – uh, we need another linebacker. Did um, we take Dorian? Jones. Hold on. Did we take Dorian Williams? No, we. No, Cam Jones is there though, and yeah, Anthony Orgy. That's he's a he's a dog too, bro. Um, Here's some funny shit if we drafted Orgy and Hooker. I know, I right? <laughs> he's a dog. You know, you 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 good with Cam Jones? Oof. If you had to choose between these two, I think that I think the more. The ceiling is right here with Anthony Orgy. I think Gold the ceiling Orgy. is higher. I think it's higher with him. Gold we're Orgy. back to back anyway. All right. So we, so we got like Mafi instantly out the board. Next pick. You guys want to go tight end right here? Let's look at tight ends and see what, what they got left on the board. My boy Josh Wiley's there, man. Payne Durham. Where's Stu? Um, six six. Marshawn Ford out of Louisville. Payne Durham, six five. Um, Davis Allen's still there uh, out of Clemson as well. Let's go back to all. Let's see what they got. So Payne Durham is that he's one of the best guys on the board. We haven't got an edge rusher yet. What about Ali out of LSU? Good acceleration into our pursuit as well. And he has climbed pursuit speed. Dottily comes a long way since his first start in that grade. His tape, his tape is pretty good. You, you got to just really watch him, though. You know what I mean? You got to like really catch him. But that, that's, that's a guy that you can kind of just – Kind of bank on potential. We need an edge rusher. You know, go with it. Yeah. Go with it. All right, we're still right here, right back over here. All right, juice is there. <laughs> juice Scrizzugs. My boy Javon Hicks is still there. I, I would take a receiver right here, bro. We late in the game. Oh, sure. Cam Jones is still on the board too, bro. Damn. Let me see um the receivers. Let's see what we got. Shit. Elijah Higgins, my guy out of uh, Stanford, still there. Pook is still there out of BYU. Um, Jalen Wayne out of South Alabama. South South Alabama is a sneaky school with receivers, bro. But these guys, a lot of these guys, end up being like undrafted. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's facts. Let's let's see what. Do they have any other defensive tackles on the board? Is Redmond still on the board? Uh, DTs. Hey, Jalen Redmond. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Carl Brooks. 
He's still there? Bro, he's still there. How many picks do we have left? Like one after this or two after this? Man, Carl Brooks, bro. Boom. I mean, I think two more. Damn, Redmond's still there. All right. Um, Aiden O'Connell is still there. Shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck that. I'm trying to see what, what else they got here. This is like a sneaky pickup. See, I, I would still go get another uh, another linebacker, bro. We need so much help at the defense. I mean, at, at the linebacker. Damn, Nick Herbig is on the board as an edge rusher. I didn't even know. I didn't know he was still there. I wanted to take Ali out of uh, out of LSU. Um, Check the linebackers. We didn't take a tight end either, huh? Nope. Shit, hold on. We have three. Like, I'm not trying to see yeah. us fucking go all like go crazy again with a depth chart that doesn't need you're, to. Be you're right. Good. You're right. Go where, where you want to go? Check receivers. <sighs> Only one that even stands out for me would be Elijah Higgins because I don't I don't know what it is about Stanford, but yeah, at times they just have some receivers that really stand out. Puka's a dog too, though. Great explosive capacity, accelerates with urgent foot speed, long speed to stack DBs. Another guy you gotta really watch his tape, bro. You got you gotta catch his tape. Like like he he he's he's pretty dope. Pook is nice, but this is another position where it's like this is just a luxury pick at this point. Yeah. We, got, we got so many receivers. I, I'm looking right now. Like if Cam still on the board, like Redmond still on the board, you can even get an extra defensive tackle right here if you wanted to. Cam. Yeah, man. Mayo, Mayo in the chat just said Elijah's a sneaky pick. He has a high IQ. Yeah, he does though. I mean, he's he's a Stanford guy. You know, he got it. he has a high oh, IQ. Of course. You, you want to try it? Let me, let me continue. Yeah. Let me Elijah Higgins. Let's yeah. do it. Why not? Late round pick. Um, and let's see who's still here. And Jalen Redmond's still on the board. Uh, Shaka Hayward is there. Shit, man. Let me see. Oh, that's my that's a sneaky pick right there, too, man. Um, Fioco, I think that's how you say it out of San Jose State. He's a dog, edge rusher. Um that that that, that really can't be the dude's name. Bumper pool, stop. Yeah, bro, bumper high stakes <laughs> pool, bro. You want to go? We, we can go Redmond right here. We can go add oh, another defensive oh, tackle oh, to the middle. Oh, Redmond. Yeah. Yo, I, I another I, pick, bro. What the shit? Yeah, I think we have one more after this, too. I think we have, like, 230 or 231, something like that. All right, let me see. Uh, I'm going Herbie right here. Go Get another edge rusher. Nah, that's it. All right. All right. So we got Gonzo at 7, Kalijah Cansey at 38. Those are two starters to me, year one. Emmanuel Forbes, my guy, fell to the third round. I love it. Can you imagine that, bro? Back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, Gonzalez. Can't see Forbes and Henley. Uh, Jair Brown. Bro, Andrew Voorhees, another guy to me is going to be phenomenal once he comes back from that injury. Jackson Kirkland, a guy that can kick in and out. DTR project at the quarterback position out of UCLA. Um, like I said, another guy, Anthony Orgy out of Vanderbilt that has a high, high, high ceiling, man. Um, Ali Gay out of uh, LSU, another edge rusher. Carl Brooks, another guy that can kick in and out. Um, Elijah Higgins, like Brett said, high IQ out of Stanford. Um, Jalen Redman, another defensive tackle. And Nick Herbie, which I don't think he'll be there in the seventh round, edge out of Wisconsin. That's a cold-ass draft. That's a cold-ass draft, bro. What, why? why? Why do we have to wait a whole three weeks? <laughs> I know, right? I, I just I want to – I really want to just fly to Vegas tonight, bro. I'm loving this shit right now. Hey, Mike. So he would start by November, December. This is facts. Facts, bro. Facts. And think about that. Forbes and Gonzo, two, two like lanky ass, like, <laughs> like that, bro. That that's cold right there, bro. That is cold right there, man. But yeah, man. Shout out to everybody here in the building, man. Hell of a hell of a show. Great draft. Yeah, Mayo, this is facts. Voorhees has all pro potential. Facts. Facts. Uh, Lorenzo, I agree, bro. I agree. He needs to get a little more weight on him. He's 166 right now, actually. But um, he's a dog, bro. And he may, he's a playmaker. We need playmakers at the cornerback position. Let me see. Yeah, Forbes is a good number two. I agree, Jay. I agree. Especially with Gonzo. That's a wrap. 
Shout out to Q, man, my dog. Yep, that's his real name. He legally changed it when he turned 18. He's talking about bumper pool. <laughs> Wait, so he legally changed that shit, bro? Why would you go change your name to bumper, bro? I'm done. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. Like what? Did like did bro like get in a fender bender and get like a fat ass check? And was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some ignorant shit and just change my name to bumper. <laughs> like he was in the carpool lane, bro, and got in a fender bender. It was like bumper pool. Fuck it. I'm just gonna put them together and voila, bumper pool, bumper high stakes pool. Mm -mm -mm. That draft is way off though. Top four drops by forty. He said what? It says the top four drops by 40. The top four what? Click on Space Beast. Six pick six is facts. Uh, the draft is way off, though. Top four drops by 40. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But you never know, though, Space. Every year, man, we think some guys are going to just be off the board and they're still there. You, you, we just, you never know. You never know. We're just going off of what's there. You know what I'm saying? For us on this mock simulator. Robert, appreciate you, bro. I like you guys' draft. DTR QB is one of the sleeper QBs I wanted the Raiders to pick, and I like all the picks. Awesome draft. Emmanuel Forbes corner is one of my favorite corners in the draft. That's dope. Yeah, that's my guy right there, man. You know, I've been speaking highly about him all offseason. That's my yeah. guy. But um, other than that, you guys, man, wanted to come shoot the shit. We did a whole full mock draft of round one. Um, picked for every team. We went, ended up doing another mock draft with just our Raiders. Um, yeah, man, with that being said, bro, once again, we will be in Las Vegas, um, every day of the draft, you guys, we will be covering all three days at the, um, uh, yeah, there we go. Barcode burgers, shout out to all my blackout family, man. DJ Mike, man. Uh, my brother Raider Cody, uh, barcode Cody, everybody's going to be in the building, man. Shield Moore is definitely going to be holding down, um, the fort when it comes to commentary. So, you guys, man, pull up if you get a chance to Barco Burgers. We will be there the 27th through the 29th covering all three days. Shout out to Space Beast on the donation. I appreciate you, King. As always, my brother, thank you so much. Shout out to um, Super Omni. Says, great show, fellas. Shout out to Cloud9. Good show, brothers. I appreciate you guys so much, man. On the way out, do us a favor. Um, subscribe, man, to both channels. Hammer, let them know where they can follow you at real quick, bro. Raider Nation news today, and we're already kicking this off right for the month of April. We already got $25 so far. So, again, guys, it's pinned in the chat. The Cash App is there. You guys want to donate for Autism Acceptance Month? That's where we're going to donate it. May 1st, we're sending everything out to the Autism Society. So, guys, everything yep. counts. If you want to donate, go for it. Let's do this big. We, we yep. Come on. You, you know what we it. do when it comes to raising money and raising Share awareness. Me, Thanks, guys. So let's do a big. Um, real quick, man. Shout out to everybody that was in the building that, that lasted with us for almost two hours. Um, hit that sub button on Oak Las Vegas Raiders Network. Also, go to oaklasvegas.com for the drip, you guys. And go to planetraiders.com. I'm telling y'all now the website is blowing up. And it's because of you guys. It's because of Wasted. It's because of Big Mike, Kane Town, everybody, Hammer, Andy, everybody that's involved with it, man, and all you guys, planetraiders.com for everything Raiders related. Salute to you guys. On the way out, man, let's put this demon time on. Y'all know what time it is, man. We love y'all. We appreciate you guys. We are outro. Sanctioned by the new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all.